Here we have a Shelbourne XCS42 stripper header. There are two models in the Shelbourne XL range, an XCS42 and XCV42. The only difference between the two machines is the drive system on the end. As you can see here, we've got two fixed pulleys. The operator changes the speed of the rotor by changing pulleys. There are six different speeds using this simple process. It provides a simple, high power, high torque drive down to the rotor. More typically used in rice and grass seed applications, but in some situations used for harvesting cereals as well, where the operator doesn't find the need to change the speed on a regular basis. The XCV incorporates a variable speed drive to the rotor, whereby the operator can change the speed of the rotor using the monitor in the cab of the combine. This facilitates different rotor speeds for changing crop conditions throughout the day and is a much more common drive system on our cereal machines. The Shelbourne XL range incorporates a spring-loaded gauge wheel system. This enables the wider headers to consistently follow the ground contours. Effectively, we've got a gauge wheel here with different positions. You can pull this pin out and lock it in a range of holes for different work heights. Also, you can lock the wheel up for transportation to keep it up out of the way when the header is on a trailer. The gauge wheel also turns, which then reduces drag when turning in the field. The gauge wheel system is used in conjunction with the skids under the header. The XL42 comes with four skids. The skids are the ultimate control when keeping the rotor out of the ground. The gauge wheels also help to control the lateral pivot by working in conjunction with a spring-loaded lateral tilting centre-mounted adapter plate. The XL42 features a two-piece top hood which we again utilise the hand pump here to raise and lower. Um, we've also incorporated a safety stop in it, so uh, we'll put, just put that in position. The XL design incorporates a two-piece top hood system with a centre mounting plate. We've also incorporated a brush which is attached to the rear of the crop deflector. This brush then effectively brushes the underside of the top hood as the crop deflector rotates up and down. This then seals the gap and helps prevent any potential for grain loss in this area. The XL range incorporates a two-piece auger with a smaller diameter centre tube but a deeper flight section. This gives more capacity than previous models. The deeper flight creates more space around the auger to allow crop to flow smoothly through the centre and to be fed into the feeder house. All XL machines are centre mounted on the combine. The centre mount is ideal for control traffic applications. All XL machines operate a lateral floating adapter plate, which is spring loaded. There are four springs on the right hand side and two springs on the left. One pair of springs on the right is used to bring the header level to compensate for the extra weight on the left hand drive end and the other two springs on either side provide the suspension and the travel to enable the head to rotate around the feeder house of the combine, but also to come back to the centre level position once the undulating terrain has been passed. A locking pin enables the operator to lock the head level for transport purposes when loading it onto a trailer. The auger is a two-piece auger with a centre mounting plate incorporating the paddle system that we've previously proven on the CVS range. These paddles provide smooth even feed of the material into the combine, which enables you to travel quickly in both lodged conditions when you're taking in straw, but also equally feeding clean grain very effectively as well. The XL42 incorporates three 14-foot rotors to complete the 42-foot total stripping width. This then incorporates two central division plates either side of the combine. Stainless steel fingers are arranged in eight rows around the rotor. 
the rotor speeds vary from 450 up to 750 RPM depending upon crop conditions. The crop deflector incorporates this uh, central mounting bracket, basically just to give extra rigidity um, to cover the 42 foot span of the machine. The arm here rotates up and down on this nylon roller on the bracket, which is then, then fixed onto the arm that comes forward off of the top beam of the header. The XL range represents more than 20 years of field development and improvement and is available to fit a wide range of modern combine harvesters.